Hi, it's Sandy Wiley. I want to talk today about positive thinking. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. <laughs> Remember that saying, if you think you can, you're right. If you think you can't, you're right. What we think, what we fill our mind affects our mental health. So that's why it's very important for me to address positive thinking and how it will help you <laughs> get ahead in life. Everyone out there <laughs> is going to be against you. Believe me, <laughs> when you're on social media, everyone has a negative thing to say about you. On all these platforms, <laughs> very rarely do you have someone say something positive. People want to see you fail. That's true. Why do they want to see you fail? Because they're very jealous of you. Because you're putting in the time, energy, and effort that they just can't do. Or they can't bring themselves, you know, um, either for whatever reason or whatnot. They don't have the confidence or they don't have the gumption <laughs> or they don't have the grit um, to, to do what you do. So what other choice do they have but just to put you down and it makes them feel good? Oh, she's no good anyway. She's horrible. She can't sing. She can't do this. She can't do that. She's just, you know, she's an old hag. Look at her, Grandma. Oh, someone go get your Grandma. Oh, Grandma went off her medication again. <laughs> All these horrible things. So, what do I do? I don't listen to it, okay? I believe in myself. I believe in me. Otherwise, if I didn't believe in me, why would I continue doing video after video every day, sometimes two a day, right? Sometimes I do two videos a day if I didn't believe in myself. If I thought I was no good and I listened to everyone else, why would I continue doing that, right? I just wouldn't do it. <laughs> you see my painting up there of the lighthouse? <laughs> so, good Good mental, you know, positive attitude, Being having a positive attitude can take you far, right? You've got to believe in yourself. Have a positive attitude because in the end, you know, it's not going to be worth it if you don't believe in yourself. <laughs> Let's go ah, to the light. I want to get a little, little more light here. In the end, you know... You're the one waking up with yourself every morning and you're the one going to bed with yourself every evening. And you're the creator. You're the one doing what you're doing. So, you know, you're not going to do something well if you don't believe in it. That's what I say. You have to believe in what you're doing. Otherwise, <laughs> you're not going to do it well. And no one's going to back you up. Who backs me up? Nobody backs me up. I don't need anyone to back me up. Let me tell you that. Because I have confidence in myself. I back myself up. <laughs> I'm a one-woman show. So, and that comes with a positive mind, you know. I mean, it's a cruel world out there, you know. Um, what they say when um, misery loves company, it's true. People love to bring you down because, because people are miserable themselves, right? So, they want you to be miserable. Happy people will not bring you down. <laughs> Happy people want to see other people happy. They do not bring people down. If you're a happy person, you want other people to be happy. If you're a miserable person, then you want to spread your wealth. <laughs> spread the misery. <laughs> so have that have that positive mindset. Tell yourself, I can do this self. I I believe in myself. Um I'm going to do the best I can, and if I'm not a success, <laughs> then so be it, right? If I'm not on the bestseller list, so be it. If I don't get monetized after all these hours and videos on YouTube, then so be it. You know what? I'm still going to go out there, and I'm still going to give them my very best each and every time because I believe in myself. Whether nobody else out there, out there believes in me, I do. And guess what? I'm enough. I really am enough. I'm all I need. I don't need anyone else. 
I don't need anyone else to back me up. And I don't need anyone else to believe in me because I'm enough. And that's what you got to think too. You got to think that you're enough, that you don't need anyone else to believe, you, you know? You got to do it for you because if you go by other people's opinions, <laughs> guess what? If you do that, then you're always going to be on the short end of the stick because other people, are, you know, what are they going to do? Who are they? Are they better than you? Is their opinion mean more? You know, are they better than you? I don't think so. And you can't think so either. You've got to have that positive mindset. Because if you have a negative mindset, that'll just bring you down. That will defeat you. It won't be other people who will defeat you. It'll be your negative mindset that will defeat you. Believe me. You know, like I said, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. So I want you to believe in you. And keep giving it your best every single day, no matter what you do. I don't know what you do. Maybe you're a YouTuber too, right? <laughs> but keep keep giving it your best and believe in yourself. And don't listen to what other people have to say. Because what do they know, you know? They're just jealous. <laughs> They're just jealous that you're out there every day and trying your damnest. You know, putting every effort into what you do. You have to, you know, I mean, people who have YouTube channels, you know, they have to come up with contents. They have to um, edit the videos that they do. They have to, you know, upload them to Dropbox, then download them on your PC or laptop. And then they have to upload them again on YouTube. And, and then they have to get a thumbnail. All these things take a lot of time. It's not like, oh, she only did like a 10 minute video. What's that? 10 minutes out of her day? 10 minutes? No, it's like two or three hours out of my day <laughs> because and then I have to market everything I just don't put it on YouTube right so but you have to have a belief in passion that's the word passion you need to have didn't Rod Stewart do a song about passion even the president needs passion yeah because if you don't feel passionate about something you're not going to go ahead and do it it's that positive mindset. It's that passionate feeling. It gives you high energy to go out there and, you know, put your best foot forward each and every time. And don't listen to what people say. Don't listen when they tell you, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't sing. You can't, you're an old hag, you know. I don't listen to that, you know. Grandma, you know, go, <laughs> grandma's using her cell phone too much. <laughs> you know, I think it's an honor to be a grandmother. I'm not a grandmother. But when they say that, they make grand, that term grandmother sound derogatory, right? When they say grandma this and grandma that, as if it's a horrible thing. Like it's a curse that to be a grandmother. I think it's a, a beautiful thing, really. You know, your child has a child. That's your grandchild. I would be proud to be a grandmother. You know, I'm not one yet. I hope someday. I mean, who knows, right? But, you know, they make that term grandmother derogatory, the way they throw it out there at me, you know. And I would be honored if I was a grandmother. So don't make the term grandmother derogatory. You know, that's exactly what they're doing. And not all grandmothers, they're trying to say that a grandmother is just an old hag, right? But I know a lot of um, young people who are grandmothers. Yeah. Grandmother doesn't mean you're in your 60s or 70s. You know, there are young, there are people in their 40s and 50s who are grandmothers. And they look as young as their, you know, daughters do. You can't even tell. You think they're sisters. So don't use grandmother as a derogatory term, okay? You're not hurting me because, I, you know, <laughs> but I just think it's not nice to, you know, to use that term to mean old hag. Because I think grandmothers are very, very special people. I do. And I think it's an honor to be one. And you shouldn't throw it out there um, and use it negatively like to mean something, you know, totally different than what it really means. So, that's what I'm going to leave you off with today. Is to think positive because your mind, your thoughts, you know, can, they control you. Really, they really control you. And if you think negative thoughts, you're going to feel miserable and you're going to feel rotten all day if you think those negative thoughts. Thoughts control you. 
So you got to put positive energy into your mind. You've got to believe in yourself and you've got to do things with passion. Okay. Purpose. I have a purpose in this life. I feel passionate about what I do. I feel passionate in my writing and I feel passionate in my videos, both my karaoke and my mental health videos. I feel very passionate about. So, and that's what I'm trying to get through. Feel passionate. Feel good about what you do. Don't listen to the naysayers, the negative people who are always trying, the bullies, they'll bully you. Believe me. <laughs> they will bully you and try to get you, you know, not, not to, to feel bad about yourself and not to continue your dreams. Never give up on your dreams, okay? I'm going to leave you with that. Never give up on your dreams. Never give up on you.